Hello YouTube, doing a review of the Scorpion C90 half helmet. I was supposed to go on a 10 to 12 hour ride today, but uh, the fair weather riders didn't want to ride in scattered showers. So, <clears throat> I took a ride by myself. So the helmet itself, let's see if I can has a drop down visor that's pretty decent I used it today when it was raining uh, I had to stop and put my rain gear on and it blocked the heavy rain that was coming down uh, my last half, half helmet did not have a removable inner liner so this comes up with snaps it's relatively comfortable. My only complaint that the helmet does not have any ventilation on the inside. So when you ride on a hot day, it's uh, humid today. It's about 85 degrees. It's hot. But overall, the helmet is relatively comfortable. It is DOT. Uh, it comes with some ear pockets that I intended on bringing with me that snap into here. And the ear pockets allow you to put a communication system attached to the helmet and you can mount it but it allows you to put the speakers in here but overall i mean it's a simple half helmet there's not a whole lot to say uh it's shaped pretty well it rides a little bit lower than the last one i had i'm gonna see if i can get uh some footage of me riding with the helmet see how much uh this mount shakes and see how it turns out but overall it's a pretty good helmet i'm happy with it i like it i normally take my trips in a three-quarter helmet my intent was to do a eight to ten hour ride today in it to, to give a review of a long day in the helmet but i've ridden with it a few times have a few hundred miles in it and overall it's pretty decent i like it i recommend it the drop down visor i normally wear uh, shatterproof glasses when i'm riding this drops down and it actually uh, is further enough far, far enough out on me to cover glasses on when i'm wearing glasses so if I have one clear glasses and I need to drop that down, it will provide a tent or some, some protection from the sun. But uh, see what else I can get. Hello YouTube. Just had lunch at a Boomerang, which is down by Solomon's Island in Maryland. Uh, mounted uh, the GoPro in the front of the fairing, so hopefully it doesn't shake too much and have the hardly shake trying to give a uh, finish up the review of the Scorpion C90 helmet drop down visor I don't really use it while I'm riding unless it's real bright or uh, I use it earlier when it's raining heavy and it keeps the rain from sticking my face all we got on the cheeks so I'm going to go across the bridge and let's see how it works out
So uh, I'm at the end of my day. I did 180 miles today alone on top of the few hundred miles I've already had in this helmet. It's hot. I probably see the sweat. It's 85 degrees. It's humid. I got caught in the rain two or three times having a rain suit on. The helmet works. It's comfortable. It just needs some ventilation. So overall, I, I like the helmet. It's a nice helmet. It's a comfortable helmet. It has a liner that's removable to be washed, which I'm going to need to wash at least four or five times this summer. The drop-down visor is decent. It's a light tint. It's not a dark tint. Um, it fits over, over sunglasses. Uh, I was able to get the camera on the front of the bike. I don't know how smooth or how visible the, the footage is. I'll see what it looks like when I'm done. But overall, that's a review of the C, C90, Scorpion C90. has padded uh, ear flaps. I don't have the ear flaps in, so you can put uh, speaker pockets in. I don't have a communication system mounted to it. It's uh, comfortable. Um, I have a, I guess, a round head, not a medium oval like the rest of the market. But overall, I like it. I'm heading in. I'm done. 180 miles in one day just to do the review. Thank you for watching. All right, YouTube, <clears throat> I uh, finished the ride, and uh, after it being so hot and sweaty, I decided I was going to wash the liner of the motorcycle helmet. Now, I hand-washed the liner in the sink with uh, regular detergent and everything like I normally wash my liners. These are the ear flaps that come with it, the Scorpion C90. They are nicely labeled for us, left and right. I guess I could put put it on the left side and the right side. So, and I go ahead and put those in. Also, with the ear flaps, these are the pockets that I referred to that the speaker system could go in to uh, have the speakers right at your ears. This is the inner liner of the helmet. I hand washed it, set it outside. It's uh, 92 or 93 degrees a day. It just dried. It's completely dry now. I washed it a couple hours ago. I set it outside for about an hour, maybe hour and a half. Uh, it's very comfortable helmet. It just needs some uh, ventilation. So when I put put the helmet back, I'm gonna make, try to make sure that these are in, inside like that. I guess that's supposed to create that void space to help with, I guess, uh, some ventilation. <clears throat> Here's the helmet itself again. Hopefully I didn't scratch it up too bad. I don't see any scratches yet. Uh, drop down visor works pretty good. Got that in a few different shots and uh, I, I did review the... I was able to record myself riding with it so that should turn out pretty well. The inside of the helmet <clears throat> with uh, to what I can see no ventilation to come from the outside in, although it is a relatively comfortable helmet. So, let me go ahead and pop the, the liner back in. So I'm gonna make sure that uh, this part is here, because when I turned out last time, or was moving around, I, I think I messed it up. And it's an easy, easy process. Just take it and just pop it back in. I believe it's a uh, very traditional Scorpion liner snapping for most of the Scorpion helmets. Make sure I got the liner in there pretty decently. And it is very comfortable. So these are the ear flaps that came along with it. Uh, fortunately, they provided a resealable bag because I don't keep the ear flaps in. Go ahead and pop the ear flaps in. Tim and I've never put the ear flaps in. It shouldn't be that difficult of a job. Uh, the last snap doesn't look like it really wants to go into that well. I'm not going to put both ear flaps in. We get the idea of what ear flaps look like and 
how they function, what they do. My last helmet had ear flaps, and I would only put them in when it was cold outside. The ear flaps normally create a, a little bit larger of a space, and when you go to strap the helmet down, it straps down just not as easy as it did before, or as, as close as it did, but I mean, for the most part, I would use the ear flaps to keep my ears warm, not to hold speaker pockets. But that's, that's the side view. So, but overall, like I said, I, I, I like the helmet. I recommend the helmet. Um, I'm glad I got it. It's comfortable. The only thing I wish that Scorpion did was uh, put some ventilation in here. Something to allow air to flow through the helmet on hot days. And uh, they can even, if they, you know, like that, like the rest of their helmets, have it where you can control the ventilation, either slide up and down or pop open and close, or or just something on the back. A lot of the helmets will have passive vents that you cannot control, and they're always open. That would have been nice to have some type of ventilation while you're riding that you can feel the air being pulled through your head. Your ears are open. It's not like the ventilation is going to make the helmet too loud. It's a half helmet. I don't see any downsides to putting ventilation on here, you know. But maybe it was a, it affected the rating or whether or not it would pass. So that's all I have. The Scorpion C90. I like it. I would get another one. I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.